All right, so in the garage today, we have the 2018 Tiguan. Um, it just hit about 50,000 miles and is about due for spark plugs. Um, it'll get the occasional misfire and act a little funky sometimes. And this engine's pretty notorious for burning through uh, spark plugs and coils. Um, I'm gonna try spark plugs first because that will be the cheapest option. And if we're still having the issue with the misfire, we'll, we will look at doing the coils. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the spark plugs on a 2018 and up uh, second generation Tiguan. And this will apply to most of the MQB cars with the four cylinder EA888 engine. So let's get started. So the tools required are an extension, a 3 8 ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, 10 mil socket, 5 8 or 16 millimeter deep well spark plug socket, standard screwdriver, 10 millimeter open ended wrench, and optional are a impact, a torque wrench, and some anti-seize. Um, obviously spark plugs, here's the part number for the ones I'm using. This car has an APR stage one tune and they recommended going uh, one heat range colder than stock. So that's what these are here. Now with the engine cover off, we'll do a quick run through of which connectors we'll need to remove. This small one here, one back here, each of the grounding wires on each coil, and then the actual coil plugs themselves. And then that, that way the harness can then fold out of the way and we can get access to the coils. So we'll start with this small one here. First you just need to push back this little gray tab. And then when you press it down, that clip should come right off. So for this connector here, the easiest way I've found is to just use a small screwdriver and kind of push this clip up and it should release the tab. Next, we can start to remove the ground wires for the coils. To do that, you'll need a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench. Um, it will need to be fairly thin to fit underneath that top nut and then a 10 millimeter socket on top. Uh, the issue I have is mine is too thick to fit through there, so let's fix that real quick. So that's fixed. Perfect. So from here we'll go ahead and release these four clips on each coil. Hopefully we can kind of fold the harness back out of the way and then pop each coil out to get to the spark plugs. And with these you just pull up on this little tab. And then kind of slowly rock them off. Wow. Uh. All right, that was harder than I thought it would be. Looks like there's one little clip right under here. 
gonna release that. There we go, that should give us plenty of room. And then they should just pull straight up. And now with all the coils removed, we can go ahead and start pulling out the spark plugs. So these spark plugs are the typical uh, 5 8 or 16 millimeter size. The only thing you will need is kind of a slightly longer uh, spark, plugs, spark plug socket. With the shorter one, it doesn't quite reach the hex. The slightly longer one, though, will reach all the way around the hex. That way you won't round it off. Here's a quick shot of new versus old. And like I said before, these are actually one step colder than the stock plugs. All right, so before we put the new plugs in, we'll hit them with just a touch of anti-seize. And if you want to be super precise, you can torque these to 18 foot-pounds. All right, with the spark plug zoom, we can go ahead and pop the coils back on. And I don't know the exact torque spec on these studs. I'm just gonna snug them down with a quarter inch ratchet. And from here, we can start to work the wiring harness back, back in place. And don't forget this small little clip here that attaches to this hose. And just press until each one clicks. We kind of snap in place. There we go. And next we'll reattach each one of these little grounding, grounding wires. I think the torque spec is around 9 newton meters, so not very tight. Just kind of snug them down. And then reconnect these two in this corner. And that is it. Just pop the engine cover back on and we are done. So yeah, not a bad job overall. Uh, I think the hardest part is just messing with those little clips and trying not to break them. If you ever need to do the um, coils as well, if you want to upgrade coils, kind of the same process. Um, actually even easier than the spark plugs because you can just pop them in and pop them out. So, so yeah, overall not a bad job and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.